Hey guys, this is Amy with Flower Moxie. Flower Moxie is the online DIY company where we give you tutorials, recipes, and send you fresh flowers for your DIY wedding. If this uh, tutorial helps you in any way, just like and subscribe to our channel. So I am so excited to do this and actually like pretty nervous because I haven't, I, I didn't do like a trial run, which is typical me. Um, I always kind of wait till it's like a high stakes and then bust out like a new recipe, like when people are coming over. And that's what I feel like I'm doing here, but I thought this would be uh, just great because we'll get to see uh, yeah, how it works. This is Flosky Flowers and I am so excited. This is on Shark Tank and I had a friend who texted me and was like, my husband saw this bouquet holder on Shark Tank that you could also drink out of and we thought of you. And so I'm like, well, I need to probably make some better life choices with that. I'm like the first person that comes to your mind. Um, but this woman by Kelly Moynihan, I believe, I might be pronouncing her last name incorrectly, but she made this. Uh, she is a pretty incredible story. She is a hairstylist and she had this idea. I think that she was in a lot of weddings. You get really thirsty, which is very true. And she was like, what if I make a bouquet holder that can also be a flask at the same time? That way you can like hydrate yourself with water or booze throughout the event. And she created flasky flowers and she got a deal on Shark Tank and I spoke with her. We visited uh, briefly on the phone and she's just a delightful person and very creative. Her and her husband went all out. Um, I believe that he quit his job to um, help take care of the kids while she got this going, also known as parenting. So <laughs> just offended every parent out there. Okay, so this is basically the setup. You've got the flask, which you fill with liquid, the top that, um, has a really good seal to it. And it's, it's kind of tough to get it snapped down. Um, I imagine when you have liquid and flowers in it, you, it's probably a two person job, uh, but it does have a really great seal and it, it comes in dry foam or wet foam. So this is the dry foam. So this would work for silk or dried flowers. And then of course, wet foam. So that's what we're going to be using today. And we've soaked this little foam sphere. And if you get this, just as a side note, don't like hold foam ever underwater. Just let it hydrate and it will, cause it will sit at the top and float, but eventually it will get, um, it will absorb the water and get weighted down. And uh, these are reusable. So we all kind of talked internally and we're like, this is a lot of fun. And even if you didn't want to do this for your wedding, uh, this would be fun for a bachelor, bachelorette party because they always make you carry one of those bouquets, typically of all of your ribbon, which I've never loved. But uh, it's just a different way for you to sit through the night and smuggle in some alcohol to a bar. All right, so you've got a straw and we're gonna try to work with this. I kind of wanna hide the straw a little bit and uh, I'm nervous, so here we go. Okay. Anytime I approach something, I kind of go back to the things that I know, which for this, um, it would be setting my parameters, figuring out how big I want this bouquet to be. Now I will say, I'm not going to do this for the video, but you have to use floral glue, meaning that you stick the stem, um, or pour some glue on, uh, your, your stem before driving it in because your stems can fall out, especially when it's a bouquet. But I'm not gonna do that for time's sake and the fact that floral glue right now is very hard to come by. So let's see here. I don't have a lot of real estate when it comes to the foam. And so what you don't wanna do is overwork your foam. And that's with any bouquet holder or any time that you're using foam in general. Um, try not to create just a, a bunch of different holes and don't drive it in so deep. It really just needs to be a little bit in. And of course, if this was for an actual event, I would have, um, my glue so it would stay in place. So I'm just going to kind of green out the base again. I, I really never tried this before, so. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll figure it out together. So that's what I'm going to start doing first. And you often see me 
doing this in general, just greening out, figuring out how big I want to make it. I kind of want to cover up this foundation. Okay, I think this is a really good place to start. I didn't want to make this as big as what I normally make bouquets just because I don't feel like maybe I have enough real estate to, it's not like a Euro holder where you have this huge surface area. So um, I probably could make it bigger, but because this is my, my first time, I'm being like conservative. So I just kind of created the foundation. I have the straw and this is going to be the back. And so I'm going to try to cover up this straw a little bit so it's not seen. And um, I feel pretty good about this size. So at this point, I'm going to start, um, you know, dispersing green through the top and then I'll backfill with my flowers. So I feel like I have, you know, quite a few mechanics to cover up. So I'm probably going to be a little bit more heavy handed with my greenery. Um, I decided how high I wanted the bouquet by setting my margins with that greenery, which you've seen me do before. And so even coming into something um, that I haven't done before that, you know, I'm kind of a little bit nervous about just because I'm being recorded. Um, there's just kind of these basic rules that when you know them, you can go back to them and approach something um, with, you know, maybe a little bit more confidence. And after, you know, years of doing it, I'm like, I, I'll, I'll eventually figure it out. And so will you when you keep these things in mind.
Okay, I like where this is at. Uh, the straw is in the back. You may want it a little bit more um, elevated. I kind of like it a little bit hidden, so you might not want to do as dense of greenery as I did. But I like where it's at so far. Um, the, the dripping is from the foam. When you start working with uh, wet floral foam, it will um, release some of that water. I don't have liquid in it, but I do have liquid in this one. And um, I've turned it upside down. It has a really nice seal to it, so I was really impressed with what she did there. So because we have a straw, I'm gonna call this my back. And I'm still gonna put some florals, but I'm more going to front load this bouquet. Um, so I'll shift it around. Um, and let's get started. I'll try to do it to where you can see, see what I'm doing here. And hopefully these roses will be long enough. And generally when I'm working like with foam work like this, I'll take kind of one product at a time when I get started and I'll disperse those colors, especially such a strong color like these orange crush roses. Um, I know that I wanna disperse that out pretty, pretty evenly. So that's kind of my method when it comes to adding in those flowers. I'm reflexing to get the most for my rose. Like I said before, we don't have a ton of foam real estate. And you never, it, it doesn't have anything really to do with flasky flowers. It's just when working with foam bouquet holders, you only have so much to work with. So you, want, you can't load it down as heavily. You wanna be a little bit lighter.
So I've, I've probably been building for what, like a solid 12 minutes because I did a lot of talking. Okay, I think I'm almost at a stopping point and I am really thrilled with the size. I feel like this, you know, if I were to do it again, I would say I probably greened it out too much. I felt like I started running out of um, some foam real estate and I left the back pretty open so you could have easy access to your straw. I might put like some tight greenery down around that just so you don't see the mechanics. But I'm really thrilled. I think she did a fantastic job. It doesn't feel too weighty. Um, now I don't have liquid in this one and I think the what I wanna figure out now is can I take it off put liquid in it and snap it back together. Because that's that was like my, my little massacre here. That's kind of what I had in question. So there is a tab, as you can see on this one, so I'm gonna use my thumb to pop it off. And I definitely say have a buddy with you to help. Okay, so pulling this out, Make sure that you're only working with clear liquids, especially if you're the bride. So um, stick with white wine. And I'm just gonna put this back in its holder. And I'm sure you've figured this out, but this is basically just, um, you know, a, a random vase that was the appropriate size. So we're gonna let that hang out there. And I already have water in this one. And just so you see, like, I've tilted it and then I've even turned it upside down and I didn't have any leaking. So I was really, I was really thrilled with uh, the seal, but it is not easy to get this latched on well enough. And honestly, that's what you want. So, ah, <laughs> new at this. I mean, obviously I could use the pink one. This holds 12 ounces. Okay, Let's see if I can do this. I would recommend having a buddy help you, but just for funsies, let's see if I can do it on my own. So I've put that in place. I'll probably have to fix a few of my flowers. I really love how she, she made it have a flat a flat bottom. So that makes it a little bit easier to work with. So at this point, you're just kind of flying blind <laughs> and you're working your way around making sure that you have it sealed. And I definitely don't have it there yet, but you can, I feel like you can hear it when it really snaps into place. This is where your floral glue will help you out. I didn't dry those in far enough and you can see how basically it gets, it can get knocked around. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Got it. So you wanna make sure, it helps me to kind of hold it upright and look up underneath it because you can tell if you don't have that seal on it quite yet. And I'm pretty, that, that wasn't too hard. I was honestly expecting it for it to be harder. Now I'll go back in and try to place those little pieces of greenery that fell out. And I think that, you know, if you glue them like you should, you should always glue it, then um, you won't have that problem as much. But for time's sake. And because glue is hard to find right now, we didn't glue it. I'm really, really thrilled. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I wish there was booze in it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it totally works. So there's a little cap for the straw. Um, I would say if I were making this for a wedding, 
Because it's foam, I would definitely make it the day of. And I would have some crowning glory or Hawaiian mist that, you know, kind of um, to lock in the moisture. And then I would probably reduce the amount of greenery that I um, put into it because at the end I was having trouble finding the spots for my stems. So I probably greened it out a little bit too much. Okay, so I built my first flasky flower bouquet and my final review is I love it. I think that it was extremely creative. Um, it was really easy to work with, especially when you just kind of set it down into a vase. I feel like maybe I went uh, a little bit too much on the greens. Uh, make sure that if you're using fresh flowers that you do floral glue and even dried flowers or silk flowers, it will just work better if you glue it in some, in some way. Uh, the things that I were concerned about, I was concerned if it would leak and it does not. It has a really tight seal. Um, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to easily refill it, refill it once the flowers were in place. And I did it by myself and got it all snapped down. And so I feel really confident a DIY bride or another florist won't have any problem with it, especially if you have like a second pair of hands helping you. Uh, Kelly did say that the holders come in many different colors. And as we know, this is plastic and you can always spray paint that. One of the last things I will say about it is when you're working with wet foam, right when you start stabbing a lot of stems in, it will kind of leak on you. Make sure that you get a good seal, and if you feel like a droplet come out, more than likely it's a little bit of that moisture leaving the wet floral foam. But other than that, it is fantastic. So I'm happy to promote and sell it on Flower Moxie. I think it's an absolute blast, super creative. Thank you so much for joining us.